Kenya is known for its rich culinary traditions. But the hidden truth lurking beneath the surface is the thriving donkey meat business. Numerous cases have been reported of donkey slaughtering business. Once in a while we, we receive reports from our OCSs and chiefs that uh, there is an impending slot of donkeys and mainly it is done in the, in the bush. While donkey was declared a meat in 1999 by the then Minister of Agriculture Musali Mudavadi, mass slaughter for their skin and meat was banned in Kenya due to the declining donkey numbers. But despite the ban, the formal slaughter of donkey stopped but the illegal bush slaughter, in a way, is flourishing. For years, unsuspecting consumers have been misled, unknowingly consuming meat far from what they believe it to be. But where does this all begin? We got a report that El Beso Market is one of the biggest source of donkeys transported from various areas including neighboring Tanzania and Ethiopia. This is what we Tanzania. Tanzania? Yeah. How do you Tanzania. <laughs> On our way, we spotted hundreds of donkeys making their way out of the Ilbeso market in Kajiado County. Kenda kutafuta mali na chinjo wa punda, uwezi pata. Si tunauza tuyo punda na mtu mwenye ananunua nikimuuzia saizi mmasai kama huyu aende kula and we are wondering because we don't know the market of the donkey actually people that are coming here to buy we are just bringing to the market we are selling it we received information that these donkeys were being transported to a waso possibly indicating some form of activity or trade involving the animal and so we made our way to a waso the fall smell that greeted us upon entering this village was quite unpleasant. The sight of scattered donkey carcasses in the field was disturbing and unsettling. We were fortunate enough to meet Zachary, not his real name. Punda in a chinjo usiku. Na hii punda pia waso hakuna punda. Hivi inaonekana sababu hii punda ni mingi ambayo ile inachinjwa ni idadi 200 mpaka 300 mimi nikiona na hii punda inaletwa na malori inaenda kununuliwa mahali mbali na uwaso soko zingine ya nje ya uwaso inakuja kuchinjwa wakati inachinjwa ni usiku inachinjwa alafu baada kuchinjwa nyama inatolewa mfupa inabaki the donkeys are not just loaded for their meat, but also for the skin. Mimi nasikia kama inaenda nje. Itakika ni Kenya. Iko mahali wanabeba huko. <coughs> Kuna fununu inaenda China. It's not only in Awaso where such incidences have been reported. Kajiado, Narok, Makweni, Kitui and even Meru are some of the areas reported. And in Kitui, residents are not only angered by theft of donkeys, but also the abuse of the animal that has for a long time served them. Sa hii uwezi weka punda yako mbali na wewe. Punda zinaibiwa. 
na tunasikia kuna mali zinachinjwa so kama kuna punda yako uweze weka mbali na wewe hiyo gari ilitokea kwa hii barabara hii inatoka pande ya kamulo hii na hiyo um, punda yenyewe ilikuwa imechinjwa pande ya yuko karibu na area inaitwa Ndovoini kuna mashine huko misima ya ngombe kuna inaitwa Ndovoini area ni area hiyo sasa wakati hawa jamaa walibeba hizo nyama zikiwa nyama yenyewe walitumia hii barabara ili ya kutoka yuko sasa ile shida ilitokea gari yao iliharibika huko na sasa ikawa ile punda wamejinja Joseph also not his real name blames Kenya's judicial system jinja najua hakuna ukoro unafanyika Kenya bila alimsaidia ni kujua ni ngumu sana in the neighboring Makweni and Embu county it's the same script different story hapa msegezio ndio punda walichinjiwa hapa nusu kilomita hapa lakini pande hii nyingine ukivuka pande hii karambari punda pia walikuwa wamechinjwa huko Many claim that the meat ends up in Bama market. Ye nyama inauzwa na Robi Bama. Eh, inaenda na Robi Bama. Hiyo ndio kweli. December kuna watu 25 walishuka kutoka Makweni. Na wakati walikamatwa, walizema kuna wenzao na kuna nyama zingine zimetangulia na siku Bama. Walienda mpaka Bama. Means wale wanatoka Kajiando, wale wanatoka Makweni, Machakos, Kidui, wale wanapeleka Bama. Mimi nafikiria hii nyama inaenda Nairobi hapo ndiyo inakuliwa lakini mfupa inabaki na sisi na ndege yetu ya kuletwa na hizi vitu would Nairobi residents spot the difference between donkey meat and beef and to learn about the difference between beef and donkey meat let's head to meat training institute to learn more one that I'm holding in my left hand this is a rib from a donkey and uh, according to the forensic features anatomical features a donkey rib is rounded in shape or in appearance and if you compare the same to the bovine or cow rib the rib from a cow is flat and narrow in appearance so if you went to a butchery yeah. and you are sold meat and you look at it during preparation mm. you find the rib is rounded mm -hmm. then that meat is from a donkey but if it were from a cow mm -hmm. the rib would be flat and broad in appearance and to serve the dwindling population of donkeys Kenya Society of Protection and Care of Animals KSPCA is playing a key role in rescuing the animals confiscated at Ndeya anti stock theft Uh, there were around 30 donkeys that was in March 2023 uh, one of our staff rushed there and so we had to rescue the animals and bring them to the Naivasha shelter where we could uh, treat them rehabilitate them and uh, rescue them from the knife for donkey slaughter it's terrible pretty soon there won't be any donkeys in this country and that's terrible because a lot of people in this economy rely on donkeys They rely on donkeys to carry water, they rely on donkeys to carry food. Uh, you know, it's just I just think it's awful. According to Animal Network for Animal Welfare, Josiah Ojuang, acting executive director and programs director, if nothing is done to stop donkey slaughter, the animal will be extinct. We actually seeing an increase in the slaughter of donkeys worldwide. When we last talked Linda some years back I told you that time the the demand was about 3 million skins a year 4 million right now it's actually at 5.9 going to 6 million to end the vice ano says immediate steps must be taken to stop the trade if we lose the donkeys we lose a very key livelihood aspect of our community so the future of the donkeys must be protected while the trade remains legal in other countries and illegal in others there will always be traders who exploit the inconsistencies it's crucial for the government to take action to protect these animals by enforcing strict measures against those involved in the illegal donkey trade and safeguard the welfare of these beasts of burden linda koskeki 24 tv